Well, basically, El Nino is a warming of the Pacific Ocean which has a major impact on weather around the world. Usually, easterly trade winds blow warm waters towards the West Pacific with cold water welling up near the west coast of South America. But El Nino forms when temperatures in the central and eastern tropical Pacific are at least half a degree higher than normal for several months. This occurs when a burst of westerly winds in the West Pacific sets in motion a large and slow-moving wave that rapidly warms the ocean just beneath the surface. This is what has happened early this year. As sea surface temperatures rise, El Nino can form. This ocean warming usually lasts about a year and is part of a complex cycle linking atmosphere and ocean, which happens every two to seven years. So what can this Pacific warming mean? El Nino is never exactly the same twice, but it makes certain weather patterns more likely. Australia, Indonesia and the Philippines are likely to be drier than normal, as is India, where El Nino encourages a weaker monsoon. In South America, Peru and Ecuador get much heavier rains between January and May. For the United States, wetter weather becomes more likely across the south during autumn and winter, though with fewer Atlantic hurricanes. Conversely, the warmer Pacific can feed bigger, stronger typhoons, which are more likely to hit Japan and South Korea. And there is some evidence that El Nino can encourage colder weather in Europe. It was partly to blame for the very severe winter of 2009-10, the coldest for decades. El Nino is not enough on its own to make reliable predictions. However, it's an important ingredient we'll be tracking to see if more disruptive weather is on the way.